How to get started with broken link building. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to get more links to your website so you rank better in Google and get more traffic and sales. Welcome to Online Business Transformation, where we help you build a successful online business. I'm Quentin Fife. Today, I'm going to talk about broken link building and show you an easy way to get started using nothing but free tools so you can start building links right away. Watch right to the end because I'm going to give you a tip that will increase your response rate and the number of links you get by 20%. First of all, what is broken link building? I mean, who wants to build broken links anyway? Well, don't worry, the links you get aren't broken. Let me explain. The simplest way to build links looks like this. Step one, find a website you want to link from. Step two, contact the webmaster by email and ask them for a link. It's simple, but it's not very effective. If you're the webmaster of a popular website, you get hundreds of link requests. And because there's nothing really in it for you, and adding a link to your website can be a real hassle, most of these requests just get deleted. So what can we do to make this process more effective and get more links? Well, it turns out there's a really easy way to boost the effectiveness of your email outreach. And all you need to do is add another step to the process. So it looks like this. Step one, find a website you want to link from. Step two, find a broken link on that website. Step three, contact the webmaster, point out the broken link and ask for a link to your own website. Now that's the simplest form of broken link building. But even this gets much better results, meaning a lot more links than email outreach alone. So why does this work so well? Well, I think there are two reasons. One, by finding and pointing out a broken link, you've just done the webmaster a favor. You've helped them fix a small problem with their website and improved the user experience for their visitors. And because they're grateful to you, they're more inclined to help you out. That's not just a theory. There are scientific studies that have shown this effect. It's called reciprocity. The second reason broken link building works is that it makes it easier for the webmaster to give you a link than it is with normal email outreach. Why is it easier? Simple. The webmaster is already editing his or her website to fix the broken link you just told them about. And when they're doing that, it's almost no extra effort to add a link to your website at the same time. Now I know what you're thinking. That's all very well, Quentin, but how am I going to find the broken links? You're not expecting me to click on every link on the site, are you? Well, no, I'm not. That would take forever. Luckily, there's tools you can use that'll find the broken links for you, and some of them are even free. The best one to get started with is called Domain Hunter Plus. It's available as an extension for the Chrome browser, so the first step is to head over to the Chrome Web Store and download it. Once you've installed it, you'll see a green crosshairs icon at the top of your browser that will fire up Domain Hunter Plus whenever you need it. Now it's time to find some pages to get links from. It's always better to get links from sites that are relevant to yours, because one, Google values relevant links more highly, and two, people who are interested in your topic are more likely to click on the links and visit your site. For this introduction to broken link building, we're going to look for links pages, because obviously enough, they tend to have a lot of links on them, so they're a good place to find broken links. And with stunning originality, I'm going to pretend I've got a website about dog training and use that as an example. So I'll go to Google and enter the query dog training in inverted commas in URL colon links.html. That'll return links pages relevant to dog training. Now, click through the search results and for any that you'd like to get a link from, Click the Domain Hunter Plus icon and it will check all the links on the page and show you any broken ones that it finds. The next thing we want to do is contact the webmaster, tell them about their broken link and ask them to link to us. You'll usually find a contact us page or an email address or contact form somewhere on the website. When it comes to actually emailing the webmaster, you see all sorts of strange advice online about what to say. Things like Pretend you just happened to be surfing their site, found a couple of broken links, and wanted to suggest one of your favorite websites. Or, 
Pretend you're a student doing a school project about dog training and you're using their site as part of your research. Look, nobody who's been a webmaster for more than five minutes is going to buy any of that. They've all seen a million link requests, and these stories are so thin they aren't going to fool anyone. I prefer just to be honest with them and send them something like this. Hi John, I'll be honest. I was looking for sites that might be willing to link to our page about dog training and I found your website, and it's How to Become a Professional Dog Trainer page. I thought you gave a lot of great information on that page, especially the section detailing all the different courses and certifications available. That's a very comprehensive list. It must have taken a lot of effort to put together. I did find one broken link on the page, Doggy World Dog Training Courses. I hope that was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you could add a link to my new Dog Training for Fun and Profit page somewhere on your website. Whether you decide to link to us or not, I hope you like my page, and I'd really appreciate any feedback you can give me. Best regards. Now I would suggest writing your own email, rather than copying this one word for word, but you're welcome to use this as a starting point. There's a couple of ideas you should definitely use. One. Try and find out the webmaster's name and use that in the email. And two, say something nice about their website, but make it something specific, like I did. Something that shows you've actually looked at their site, not something generic like, I liked your website, which you could say whether you'd ever looked at it or not. Both of those things are going to show that you're not just a spammer sending out thousands of generic requests, but you've actually taken the trouble to visit their website. Once you've sent each email, just carry on scrolling down and working through all the Google results for that query. Once you've done all those, you can adapt your query to search for different file types of links pages with in URL colon links.htm, links.php, and links.asp. And when you've done all of those, move on to different keywords. For example, instead of dog training, I could use dog tricks, clicker training, dog obedience training, or hundreds of others. That's a quick and easy way to get started with broken link building, so you can start getting new links to your website straight away. But we've barely scratched the surface. There's a lot more I'd like to tell you about broken link building than I've been able to fit into this short video. So I've created a course to show you more advanced methods and tools so that you can really scale up and get hundreds of new links to your website. The course is called Broken Link Building Mastery, and in it I'll show you everything you need to know to build links to your website at scale, so you can get lots of backlinks anytime you need them, and start to really dominate the Google rankings. Broken Link Building Mastery has 24 video lectures, fill in the blanks email templates, step by step checklists, and more. I'll show you how to use tools that can find all the broken links on a website in seconds so you can get powerful in-content links, not just the ones on links pages. There's also a whole section on productivity and scale to help you scale up and get large numbers of links. If you want to find out more about Broken Link Building Mastery, just click on the link in the description below this video. I promised you a tip that would boost your response rate by 20%, and here it is. Eight to 10 days after I send the first email to a webmaster, if I don't hear back from them, I'll send a quick follow-up email. Quickest way to do this is just go to the original email you sent in your sent mail folder and forward that back to the webmaster with a message like, Hi John, just resending this in case you missed it. Now typically, 20% of all the links I get from a broken link building campaign come from those follow-up emails. So it's well worth spending a few minutes doing that. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. Please hit like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to get more great videos like this, and check out Broken Link Building Mastery if you want to take your link building to the next level.